Hi, I'm Adam. I'm here with my friend Gus on camera at the 2018 Pacific Northwest Lens Summit in beautiful Portland, Oregon. We're gonna go meet with the biggest cinema lens manufacturers in the world, talking about vintage lenses, new technologies, and innovations for large format. Let's go check it out. I'm with Rick Sutherland from Panasonic. Hi, Rick. Hi. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for being on camera. He's going to tell us a little bit about the Vericams and also the EVA1, right? Yes. So uh, behind me here on my right is the uh, Vericam 35. It's uh, a dockable system, so you have a separate camera section with a dockable recorder, uh, which gives us a lot more processing power in the record section. So it'll do full 12-bit. 4K, 60 frame internal record, uh, along with uh, simultaneous records of HD and proxy. It'll also take a codex raw back, so you can do a, a raw uh, record as well. Um, over on my left is the Vericam LT, um, which is a single body unit, so the record section is integrated in with the camera. Um, it'll do 10 bit uh, 4K internal record, uh, and still do a proxy. Um, it will actually go up to 240 frames in a crop 2K mode for uh, slow motion uh, type effects. Uh, both cameras use the same uh, a Super 35 slide imager. The um, other kind of unique thing about all of our cameras is uh, dual native ISO. So the uh, Vericam 35 and LT will do an 800 base um, and a 5,000 base, or you can roll up or down from either of those native settings. So if you're getting into low light um, and uh, you like the texture of the scene, but you, you, know, you don't want to throw more light at it, you can use that higher ISO without introducing noise to the, uh, the picture. Um, in my hands, I have my uh, new little EVA1, which is our newest cinema camera, designed to be you know, lightweight using uh, standard SDXC cards or for higher frame rate, um, there's a new what we call a V90 uh, SDXC card for the uh, 400 megabit. Um, so an EF mount. 400 megabits on an SD card, that's incredible. Yeah. That's a lot of data. Yeah, it's a lot of data. Uh, uses the uh, same batteries that we use in uh, some of our other handheld cameras, so people have them lay around, they, they can uh, use them in this as well. Um, EF mount for uh, Canon type style glass. Um, uh, included LCD monitor. Uh, it too has a dual native ISO of 800 and 2500. It's a 5.7K sensor, so actually a little more resolution than what's on the um, the other Vericam cameras. Even a newer technology. This is a great size and um, weight for gimbal work. Yes. Right. Yeah, for uh, drones, gimbals, um, uh, different harnesses and whatnot. So in the nice thing about it is all these, these cameras, if you're shooting in log, will have the same color curve, so you can intermix them in a show. So if you're willing to risk $7,500 but not $50,000 and put this on you know, a higher risk shot, you can still match the, the image. And a lot of Vericams I know are being used on TV and a lot of these shows that are coming around on the streaming services. Yeah. It's actually a popular professional format. Yes. Yeah. Um, all of these cameras are Netflix certified, so you can use them uh, for any Netflix show that you're working on and be within their spec. Oh, that's great. Great. Rick, thank you so much. You bet. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. All right. See you soon.